Sustainable development can be defined as being development that meets the needs of present generations without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. The definition covers the links between environmental protection and prevention of the deterioration of social and economic development. Population growth and increased consumerism negatively impact on sustainable development. The publication Limits to Growth by the global think tank The Club of Rome was published in 1972. It was the first major study into the impacts on sustainable development. The publication used computer modelling to consider the impacts of emerging global trends, such as the accelerating industrialisation and depletion of non-renewable resources, and whether they could be addressed by human ingenuity and innovation. Updates to the publication have found that humanity is using resources at a greater rate than they can be regenerated. And pollutants and wastes are being released faster than the Earth can absorb them or render them harmless. Planetary boundaries are limits within which humanity must stay within in order to thrive. They cover issues such as climate change, ocean acidification, stratospheric ozone depletion and freshwater use. Living within such limits is key in achieving sustainable development. Breaching such limits may cause dangerous and irreversible harm to the environment and society. There is evidence to show that a number of boundaries are being breached or close to being breached. The Donut Model for Sustainable Development considers living within environment and social limits. Social issues are present within an inner boundary with environmental limits presented as an outer boundary. The space between the two represents an environmentally safe and socially responsible place for humanity to succeed. It is also an area where sustainable economic development takes place. The Five Capitals model introduces a number of stocks that have the potential to deliver sustainable economic development. The capitals are financial, natural, manufactured, human and social. An organisation may use such capitals to deliver products or services and will maintain and possibly increase stocks of each capital rather than deplete them. Governance refers to the decision-making undertaken by societies in the management of the environment and natural resources. Governance is often defined by international agreements. For example, the UN Post 2015 Development Framework identifies governance as consisting of issues such as the provision of a social floor, growth with benefits to society, and peace and security. Similarly, Agenda 21 describes governance principles consisting of the creation of a sustainable society by consent, measuring the effects of policies on social and ecological parameters and understanding ecological limits. Rio Plus 20 has also provided a governance framework consisting of issues such as sustainable development goals and guidelines on green economic policies. Sustainable development involves a certain amount of trade-offs between social, environmental and economic needs. Sometimes sustainable development covers situations where such pressures are in conflict rather than all being met with success. A key problem is that the financial value of environmental resources is not always understood. Although this can be achieved by natural capital valuation, which we'll cover later in the course.